Hello everyone and welcome to Fuse Room, I'm Alberto and we're going to talk about Silver by Acoustica Audio. I have a more serious job in life which is playing piano and teaching it and with colleagues, friends of mine, we run an ensemble class every two weeks. We usually send the students an mp3 or two of sketches that represent the charts they're gonna read and the topics we're gonna talk about. So I was writing one quick draft that sounded like this. I played everything minus the drums, obviously, but I have a very cool friend of mine. We go way back together and he's a trumpet teacher. So I like to piss him off by playing MIDI trumpet lines that the students can, you know, get their ears tuned on. And he hates that. Let's listen to that as well. So this is the quick sketch I was talking about. And Silver came out right while I was writing this. And I thought that this could be the perfect example to test Silver on, because if we strip the instruments of their reverbs, their default reverb, we're gonna have some bone dry MIDI instruments that are going to be the ultimate challenge for a plugin. And if it survives my sketches, Silver is good. So let's dive into it. Here's how the instruments sound without the reverb. The drums, I couldn't actually take it off because it's a stereo audio track, so the drums sound like this. The bass sounds like this. It's got a little bit of ambience, but I wouldn't say reverb. Piano sounds like this. Right? It sounds very meaty this way. And ladies and gentlemen, trumpet without reverb sounds like this. Right? So this is, can't get any better than these people. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna try silver, I think on the whole bus, right off the bat. And it comes in three fashions. So it's silver mini, Silver Light and Silver. I'm gonna open all three of them just because. Again, I haven't tested it. I've only taken a quick look at the interface. So it resembles Sienna, I would say, which is a good thing because the interface we're kind of acquainted with already. Um, so there's early level on the left with depth. There's a bypass, direct level and output reverb, okay. There's time, so there's a multiplier for late and late level on the right, and the Guru version. All right, let's try the Guru on. Guru has, oh, pre-delay, input trim, pan, the distance with minus and plus, so that's a width, and the pan 3D, which is typical of Sienna as well. It's pretty cool. We're gonna explore this together. I also see filters, high frequency, maybe boost or cut, low frequency, this could be shelves, high pass, low pass, presets on the top, and spaces and presets to be loaded, and a perfection slider that's doubled for early and late. Right, oh, all right, let me, let me save these, let me load silver light. So we go, I think, to the next level, because light is bigger than mini. Same thing, has a guru. I would think that mini is just a GUI thing, so like the interface is smaller. Doesn't look to me as if it was lighter in um, behavior, but it could be a mini interface version of light. That could be that, you know. This is improvisation, people. I mean, it's jazz, right? 
So, um, all right, so we have pretty much the same context, just a bigger screen to take a look at the stuff. And then we go um, silver again, if I can type that. And we go to the silver, the normal one. Okay, so I'm gonna just take the regular silver, right? There we go. I'm gonna start with the drums, actually. Sometimes I've done stuff like this and I like to figure out where the drums should be and then kind of make everything follow. If I were to mix this, you know, just give it an idea that it would sound right, for example. So the presets have LST, which I think it's a reset, like a default, clubs, okay, jamming, far, medium, near. So there's a place, there's a category, the name of the place, and the distance that this will sample to. And there's domestic, bathrooms, nice, you need bathrooms. Uh, different types of bathrooms, different type of types of bedrooms, fireplace, living room, nice, music mix. So there's a lot of them. Okay, these are castles. Castello Bolognini, all right, this is beautiful. Uh, the shelter could be maybe something else related to music. Teatro Belloni. A warehouse, all right, that's got to be a warehouse. There's studios. There's some studios that we've taken, like Prime Studios, so they've sampled rooms. That's pretty cool, but this is public spaces. So this could be probably something like, oh, there's a pub. That's very cool. It's actually a cool place, never been there. Um, then there's churches. Nice. It loads super fast, obviously, as you can see, but I wouldn't give that for granted. And then we have studio and recording. That's fantastic. So if I wanted to go to, for example, Prime Studios, we have the booths from Prime. Nice. This is really cool. Then we have the drum room from Prime Studios. Then we have a lot of others. What does, okay, mixing console lounge, okay. Could be maybe used also as a vocal booth. Console lounge large, so it's like a larger space. Um, Sonoria Studio, I've actually been there. Maybe once, was I buying something from them? Don't remember. The Sphere, wow. That's a pretty, that's a pretty cool room. Tall ceilings, piano likes that, also drums like that. Uh, phono print as well, nice. So this could be used to simulate drum rooms and then destroy them. Let's try, let's try something like this, even if it's not what I wanted to do. But, um, so we have direct and we have output reverb. So if I go straight off to minus infinite, I should have just the direct. That's a good start. Nothing changes with the direct at zero. That's pretty good. All right, now let's listen to how this room sounds. Sounds pretty good. Sounds pretty good. And I heard the kick was kind of flaming a little bit. I wanted some definition out of it. Remember, this is just output reverb level, so it's like a lot. But what I really like is that if I dial in some early pre-delay, it actually cleans the kick without actually affecting the early levels too much. That's nice. That's really nice. Let's try just the late. It's very typical of these sort of like drier technical rooms. So let me try together these two things. This sounds really good. This sounds really good. I want to do some club. I want to use the jamming, actually, far. I've played in this place. It's cool. All right, so 
Let's listen to just the reverb. Wow, this sounds this sounds authentic, I gotta say. Like it sounds like the drums are really there. Let me try and fine-tune these and place the bass in there. The depth is also insanely cool. I think on headphones it might, might sound weird. The way I hear it from the speakers kind of gives it away to me that it might not exactly be always like... It sounds like you can really go 80% here and enjoy it. Maybe on headphones it could be weirder, but it sounds really nice. That's nice, because I have the drums slightly panned left, and uh, it respects that. That's great. So, late level. Wow, the 3D and distance really fine-tune everything. I like it. It's very physical and sort of intuitive. Obviously pan. I'm gonna try the LF, MF, HF and low pass. It's very delicate. I don't think we're gonna appreciate the HF too much because we're far away. This is a far preset. But I, I'm picturing this room and I'm thinking, okay, this jazz quartet is playing in there with MIDI trumpet, <laughs> right? It's an avant-garde session. So I like this. I like this. This could be... Let, let me bring in the bass. It's not meant to sound right, I'm just trying to make it really sound like somebody's very far away and I'm getting a drink, you know, far away. It sounds really good. Let me try perfection at zero and then go to maximum. Okay, perfection to maximum kind of sounds like any other reverb in a bad way, I would say, in a good way, but in a bad way, because when you go perfection zero... This is really cool. Let me rebalance this just a tiny little bit. Nice. All right, so now piano by itself. Piano isn't actually quite affected to it, but I think together. That could be it. So I would place maybe the bass player a little bit on the right, the piano also there, or maybe in the center if they had room, and uh, the trumpet to the right. All right, it's time for the trumpet, people. Let's hear how this works.
All right. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna do two things. I like the environment where it is, but I wanna load a silver mini to trumpet eyes this. Um, I'm probably gonna use something completely different, like a church. It's very unusual for me, but you know. San Luigi, okay, uh, near. Wow, I, this really placed it in space somehow and saved us from farther, or saved my colleague from farther torture. I mean, it's also, remember, it's also going into the space. So um, I don't know how this would sound alone by itself. It's going from silver mini trumpet insert to the mix bus. So now I want to try the piano and um, load another silver mini into it and I think I want something wooden here maybe um what could it be theater theater maybe it's too much prime studios we saw them them is student scoring domestic hmm that's pretty interesting could be oh public places maybe has a restaurant oh there we go I sound better in restaurants I like all the, you know, noise stuff. So, all right, I'm gonna go just by looks. Restaurant hall two, all right, that, that gives me anxiety. I don't wanna play in there. Hall three, a hall three. This looks like, and then house, okay, toilets are great, so if I have to go to the bathroom, I'm also gonna enjoy that, I think. Hall three it is. Let's try piano on hall three. All right, I mean, it doesn't sound bad, I have to say. So maybe the piano could be a little bit too heavy on the lows. I'm gonna try something like that. And we're gonna listen to it with and without silver, the main instance, however, right? The club one. And also without the trumpet, because torture is torture, it shouldn't be allowed. I think it sounds really convincing. There's no way that I can try everything here. It sounds like the sources are great. The way they were captured um, is great, but the parameters by themselves are cool, but it's the combination of how these elements feel organically connected to the sources that I think could make silver stand out against something else. And that's pretty much all. I hope this tutorial kind of helped you out understand what silver could do. There's no way I can do everything and we kind of explored it together. So go to the bar, get a martini and you know, be all cool and sophisticated. All right, it's a 5-4. So thank you very much, ciao.